a quick recap of the week, uh, in a nutshell, Gaza, horrific, uh, Ebola, spreading, <laughs> and Syria, to be honest, it's barely been reported on, but let's assume it's still fucking awful. <laughs> Thankfully for all of our souls, though, in Uganda, there was one genuinely good piece of news this week. A controversial and much protested anti-gay law in Uganda was invalidated today. Yes! <laughs> that is fantastic! Uganda's brutal anti-gay law has been struck down. Presumably, this was a simple case of a country finally coming to its senses and understanding the dignity and worth of all individuals. The country's constitutional court ruled that it was null and void because the parliament didn't have a quorum when it was passed earlier this year. Well, that's even better. <laughs> it was overturned on a technicality. Free at last, free at last. Thank God almighty, we are accidentally free at last. It still counts. It still counts. Now, you may remember, we actually covered Uganda's anti-gay laws a while ago, and we all met one of its main proponents, Pastor Martin Semper. They begin to use gadgets like bananas. They use carrots. They use bananas. They use cucumbers and other metalized ones, and they put them inside themselves. Maybe tiny coconuts. OK, just to, just to be clear, <laughs> what, what you're describing isn't a sexual orientation, it's a juice cleanse, OK? <laughs> Which... Which, by the way, is an abomination before God. It's wrong. It's wrong. But surprisingly, perhaps unsurprisingly, Semper was not thrilled with this law being overturned. And he thinks he knows who is to blame. Barack Obama, who has been putting pressure in the US-Africa summit. Wait. <laughs> President Obama was responsible. That could actually be the most ignorant thing this man has said so far. Because it is one thing to believe that gay sex involves a complete edible arrangement. But, but if you truly believe President Obama has the power to influence legislation anywhere on Earth, you are a complete idiot. And mo moving on. 